Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to cook an obnoxiously large steak on top of a fossil? Me neither. Let's do it anyway. Common puff balls. Beautiful white flesh. <sighs> really earthy. Mmm. <sighs> With like a almost like a pungently sweet smell at the end there. Um, edible. <laughs> Might take a few of these to have a mistake, but I'll probably just take them home. Ah, beauty. Oh, a bumper crop. You see they all have these little holes in top where the spores are released. Come on, focus. See? Trusty Oppenel out and you can see that these are still good, so they are good for eating. Which there is enough, I might take a few of these actually, maybe not for now, but I'll certainly. I'll take these home for tea. Should really have a paper bag or whatever, or ideally a little fancy wicker basket, but <laughs> don't have it, so make do. Make do with camouflaged bag. This one's just started to go a bit, a bit powdery. I only want a few though, just for an, maybe an omelette or something for, for my tea tonight. These are fly agaric, fly agaric, or whatever, whatever you want to say. Uh, not advised to eat these. You can uh, you can cook them and process them and get a bit buck wild off it, but not good for eating. <laughs> right, that'll do. I've got a nice little clearing here under these what are they, beech trees. So I'm just going to create a little area and get a fire going. It's too dark in the uh, in all the other bits. It's too dense, so there's not really enough light. And I'm on a bit of a hill. It's not ideal, but we'll make it work. dug down there to the compacted soil so nothing's going to set on fire just wanted to remove the top surface of leaf litter just to check that it wasn't uh, deep with mulch pine needles and whatnot just to be on the safe side so that's good to go we can have a fire on there you see all them loads of fossils there look I'm not gonna lie it broke it's broke in my bag which is pretty upsetting really but we'll manage it off that I got this uh, when me and my mate Joey D did a little bit of a hike and wild camp along the coast and if you can see it's a slab quite a thick slab of slate just riddled with ammonite fossils imprints and actual fossils that I've carried for miles uh, But it's a present, just in case I do lose it. This one's for you, Alice. Uh, many years ago now, and I found this and carried it. Carried it all the way. So it's a labour of love. 
So you've got little bits of uh, frilled gold in there, iron pyritis in there, but I mean, it's stunning. Let's see if we can get, let's, let's see, let's see anyway. Trials and tribulations, let's give it a go. Use the bit that came off there. <laughs> Made like a tiny mini reflector wall type of an affair there, look, which will probably set on fire and then the whole thing will collapse. That's that's the chance we're taking though. <laughs> I'm on the uh, SE3 today, custom by my boy Luke at, SC, uh, at York Knife. York knife. Uh, just been look at the because after my tragic demise of the other one, <laughs> the early demise. Back on this, but look at that. It's the thing of look at the natural. Come on, focusing. I'm not in mood for this. It was there. You go. Look at that. Look at that patina. Beautiful. Oh, no. I've just had, had it over the uh, Japanese whetstones, uh, cleaned it up a little bit, oiled it all with handle. Because I was feeling bad about the loss of the other one, so I thought I'd, I'd pour some love and attention into this. Oh, winds are coming. Go. Not very conventional, this. <laughs> but it is what it is. What else have I got in here? Some cramp balls, I could have done that. CBA getting a tinder bundle together though. Let's do it. Get it on. Is it sturdy? Not really. That's life though. Life isn't sturdy. <laughs> Hey. Right. A little bit of a little bit of coconut oil. I guess we'll know when it's hot enough. When that's melted. We're having a sweep steak for how long it's gonna take for it just to for this to burn away and for it all just to fall into the fire. I'm having about eight minutes. Just covering my ammonites in coconut oil, which is the first time I've ever said that. I've put this unit at the side so that if these give way, at least I can just use this. Hey, the sun's coming out. Glorious. Big ribeye with the bone in. There it is. 
a whopper. See how she's getting on, eh? Good. That is not bad at all, look at that. She's getting there. The flames are licking around the outside and just cooking the edges and charring up nicely. Just gonna bang a little bit of salt and pepper on top. Look at that. I didn't bring a lot of things, didn't bring a plate, didn't bring a fork, don't matter. It doesn't matter. We're on it anyway, look. Ah, there. She is. We'll turn it over, have a look. Oh, yes. Bang a bit of seasoning on this side. There you go. Looks good. I'm just going to let that rest. Let that rest now. Let the juices fall back into it. And let the let all the meat relax and go a little bit tender. I'll keep this fire going because it's quite cold. There's a lot of residual heat still in that stone. It's it's uh, it's slate. As you can see the layers of it there. There's a lot of residual heat in that. So that'll just be keeping it ticking over. <laughs> I'm hungry as well. It's been a long day. Ow. Is it only me that gets blasted by smoke? What? All right, without further ado. Should we get stuck in? I'll straight through the main section. How is she cooked? <laughs> Good enough for me. Rouge. Nicely done on ends. That's done to perfection in my eyes. For my taste anyway. Let's go. God, that is juicy. You can taste the prehistoricness. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Look at that. Tomahawk st uh, steak, served on fossils, cooked on fossils. <laughs> You'd pay a lot for that in a restaurant. That's cooked well. Cut that end bit. Get my face out at road. Ah, oh, pink there, charred on the outside. Ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. Mm. Sorry to all my vegetarian and vegan man dem and lady dem. Mm. But I don't often eat meat. When I do, it's a treat. <laughs> Cut that. Hit them. I 
I actually killed this cow myself with that. Just got it in a headlock and squeezed it. There's results. How did you get on with cow? Did you win? I'll let you a bit judge. I hope everyone's doing well out there. In these weird times, not as mad as when it first started, but the weird times indeed. I think there's a lot of anxiety out there, and a lot of people, a lot of frustration with people not knowing, not knowing the score. I'm one of them. We're being high risk, you just don't know what crack is. I got a lot of people reaching out to me saying that they're struggling at this time, at, at the moment. And so, my heart goes out to you. And I say we're in this together. As much as we can be, let it bring out the best in you. And don't suffer alone. If you're struggling with anything, if you're struggling with your noggin or physically or you can't get to shot anything, just talk to someone. Makes the world a difference. I used to say you could talk to me, but that's backfired on me a few times when people have actually messaged me and I, I get too many messages and can't reply and, and then, it, then I... It feels bad, so and it can't be me. It can't be me. Can't take it on at the moment. But uh, yeah, just talk to your friends. Talk to the Samaritans. Um, talk to anyone. I'm only saying this because it's a. I'm having a steak, and it's just like a show as your steak sort of vibe. Not officially, but just it's important just to check in. I hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna send this off. Oh, beautiful. And my fossil, it cooked on my fossil. I fear that my fossil will never be the same again. Oh well, I'll have to find another one. I'll try and scrub it up. <laughs> it's a good, it's a fitting end for it though, out in, out in wilderness. Back to whence she came. Right, let me get stuck into this and then uh, I'm gonna clear away my fire and get gone. On. Thanks to everyone for for watching. Thanks for everyone to everyone who hits the like button. That means a lot. It uh, it helps and it's uh, it's good to see. It's good to see that it's that people enjoy enjoy the videos. So thanks for hitting the like button. Um, that's it, man. I'll be back for some more camping videos soon. I'm off out with Matt Morgan soon. Joey D might be coming out for another one. Um, so if you're not subscribed already, 
please consider subscribing hit the bell notification so you can get updated when I upload because apparently a lot of people aren't getting updated when I'm uploading so click the bell all the usual <laughs> shenanigans and uh, most importantly look after yourselves stay safe keep fighting the good fight and I'll see you soon au revoir Should have faded to black. It always looks better if you just fade to black when you walk off instead of coming back. Ugh. Right, yeah, I'll chuck you up in there.